wherever the pioneers of South Canterbury settled and made their homes, there you will find the little churches built strong and sure with iron from the old country and the natural materials to hand. In a new land, the first settlers raised the churches of their faith. At Arafanua, near Tamuka, the Maoris built their first Christian church in 1866, following Bishop Harper's visit, and it served them well until the present one was erected about 30 years ago. Another square-towered church dedicated to St. David, patron saint of shepherds, stands on a hillside near Cave Township. It was built in 1930 as a memorial to the early settlers who came from the highlands of Scotland. This font is a centuries-old Scottish mortar. It rests on the hub which belonged to the dray used by pioneers on their first journey up the Tasman Valley. Today, their descendants come from outback stations and nearby farms to worship at this church. At Pleasant Valley near Geraldine, children of the local primary school learn something of the history of their own little church of St. Anne. Erected in 1865, St. Anne's is the oldest existing church in South Canterbury. Three generations of settlers have worshipped in this church. Nearly a hundred years ago, before Barry's grandparents were born, these earthen walls were hardening in the sun. In a new country, we built the little churches, symbols of the pioneers' faith. <laughs>